This is, this no, you don't. Ho, 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 wait, wait, wait. Somebody give me, look up the garments of our sisters. Man, y'all crazy. My wife is bad. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. <laughs> she is bad. Hey, she dressed up. It was good to talk to y'all over here. So you stopped, so who was driving? You was driving. So you saw us teaching, and you was like, yo, we gonna go listen to what they saying. So how long you know you're an Israelite? Well, how long y'all been knowing? Oh, she taught you you was an Israelite? All oh, praises. So good. So how long went, How long ago that's been? Just this year? It's been like a year. Okay. A year or two, yeah. Okay, so it's been a year or two. So now y'all know you're Israelites, but y'all don't really congregate with anyone per se right now, right? So, why not? No, I just like that was my question over here. Now you get to answer it now. Uh, I don't know. I just like, I don't feel attached to like one congregation. Okay. Okay. So you watch many different congregations then. Right. Okay. So anything you see wrong about what we teach? No, not necessarily. What about what the other ones teach? Not really. Okay. So do you have an issue with multiple wives? Um, kind of. I mean, not really. I don't have an you issue. don't have an issue with being wife number three to a man that has two already. No, I don't. Okay, I wouldn't want to be that, but I don't okay. like look at other people and like judge them for that. Okay, what does the Bible say um, in the New Testament? To what if you're going to be? Because a man is a leader, right? right? No woman wants a weak man. Is that true? Okay. All women want leaders to marry. That's right, right? A woman that wants a man that is because you got some women that don't want men. They want women the day they don't repent. We all know what their judgment is. But a woman in her right mind does not want a weak man. Is that right. true? Yes. Well, you want a man that you can run over and tell him what to do. And he do everything you say. And then he just sits there while you go to work. He don't work. You don't want that dude, right? right. Okay. Give me that in Timothy's. Again, we read this earlier. Timothy's three. We read this earlier because I asked about the multiple wives for a reason. Because there are camps that do teach that. Now we don't because of this scripture here. Read that. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. A bishop then must be blameless. A bishop means leader. A leader must be blameless. You know? The husband of one wife. How many wives? One wife. A leader has one wife. See what I'm saying? So we ain't gonna have multiple women and everything else when shoot moms is struggling to take care of the one wife they got how you gonna have three four five no they take care of that man i don't know that woman that wants to be that number number four five and six that's okay even the ones that's in it you never heard that it's working out where do we ever do we ever see those marriages where it's 10 women walking with one dude and it works out do you ever seen that with you've never seen it so be careful with what you're listening to all right all right. So now, now, y'all got any questions about anything? Yes, ma'am. So you're basically saying you're advocating for monogamy. One wife. Right. That's what the Bible says. Okay. In the beginning, Adam and Eve. Was it Adam, Eve, and everybody else? Or was it just Adam and Eve? Right. Okay. So we doing what Adam did. Is that wrong? According to the Bible, no. No, it's not. You see what I'm saying? You understand that? Do you understand? Do you agree that it's that you can have multiple wives? Do you think that that's okay? Okay, so why did you ask the question? She asked the question like she disagreed. No, 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 I asked because I just wanted to. All 
Understood. Yes. Understood. I can rock with that. I can rock with that. So now, now, now. One of the officers had mentioned something. Cause, cause y'all, cause the officer asked for y'all if y'all were planning to come to the school today. I was like, no, I'm not planning on it or whatnot. And he actually said, if people, if people literally, if we said, look, we giving away money at five o'clock, would everybody show up? Why don't people show up to the school whenever they getting something greater than money? That's right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, we're gonna read the scripture. Give me wisdom of Solomon, eight and five. That's right, right? Yes, sir. All praise to the Most High. See, we're going to read it. We're going to read it. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 4. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life. So if riches be a possession that we desire in this life, we don't. What is richer than wisdom? What is richer than wisdom? What is richer than the wisdom of God? Nothing. Right. But our people will show up if we say we're giving away money. But they won't show up if we say we're giving away the wisdom of God so you can get the kingdom. Right. Is that in that verse? Sir. We know. That worketh all things. That wisdom, because it works all things. So now, give me that in uh, Hebrews 10, 25. Watch this. Read that. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Mm -hmm. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. He said, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. So if you're staying home, no one's, who are you gathering with? That means you're forsaking the assembly of God's saints together. You're not doing what the Bible says. Even though y'all know y'all Israelites. But it's but do you only get saved just because you know? Or do you have to do what it says? We you know. As the matter of some is. Because some people do forsake the assembly, meaning they won't gather with no one. We you don't. Know? But exerting one another. And so the much the more. As you see the day approaching. How do y'all get exhorted to do better and to be better if y'all stay by yourselves? As the day approaches, when them bombs is going to be shot over here and people going to blow up and burn, who exhorts y'all to continue in the faith? Who exhorts you to be better? Because you, you taught her about being an Israelite. Did you teach her about modesty and about the dress code? She did. Right? So now... What did you learn about modesty from my sister? What's your name, sis? Fabiana. Fabiana? Oh, I said it right the first time. All praises. What's your name, sis? Shay. Shay, Fabiana, and Shay. So, Shay, what did Fabiana teach you about modesty? Um, it makes you more respectful. What do you mean? It makes you more respectful. What modesty do you mean? makes you more respectful. How? Like, it protects the way others perceive you and approach you. In what way? Now, how does it protect you? Like, what do you have to do to be perceived as modest? Cover yourself in what? Huh? Cover yourself in what? What do you have to wear? What did you teach her, Fabiana? What did you teach her? I'm trying to come back to you now. She forgot. You have to like, cover yourself in like modest apparel. Like what? Like. Can she wear loose pants? Oh, well, not pants. Okay. So what's she supposed to wear? But like, um, I was saying that like, you can't dress in like, like the male garments. So okay, so she can't wear pants. You know that? Yeah, she me that. All right, so you got on shorts, showing all of us out here, all the men that drive by, tight, tight pants. All right, what about you? Because you taught about modesty, yes. but your dress is hugging. For sure. Now, we're going to read the law so y'all will know. I know she's already talked, but we're going to read it anyways. All right? This ain't a bashing. This is... This is like no, you don't. Hold, 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 wait, wait, wait. Somebody give me... Look up the garments of our sisters. Man, y'all crazy. My wife is bad. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. <laughs> she is bad. Hey, she dressed cold blooded. Hey, man, what's so funny, bro? What the heck wrong with you, man? Read the scripture. <laughs> verse Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. It said women adorn themselves in modest apparel to not attract sexual attention. That's what modesty means. If your apparel is tight, what is a man going to do when he look at you? Lust. Okay. And what happens to that man when he lusts? Now, what is he in sin now? And all he did was look at you. Is he in sin now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's his problem. No, it's not. You helped the problem. You actually made it worse versus if he looked at you and said, hey, she's a respectable sister. Hey, let me see it. Come here, man. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. Y'all talking about grandma. Y'all got to be at your mind. Come here. You telling me that those kids and those women look like grandma? They look like princesses, don't they? They do. 
They do, don't they? And that's how they dress every day. Our women don't run around dressing like grandma. We're looking like looking like we just rolled in dust and dirt bowls and stuff. No. This is how we look. This is how our sisters look every day. Royalty. Yeah, let me get this one too. Yeah, look, look, look at that. That's just, this is how they're gonna be dressed today. Well, no, they gotta be they're gonna be wearing purple and gold with us today. But this is every day. You're telling me that this is grandma dress, that this is unattractive. Mind you, are they clothes tight? No. Are they clothes revealing? But they look beautiful, don't they? They do. That's princess wear. That's your royalty dress code. And you turn your back on it because you say, yeah, it's, I got to dress like grandma. No, dress like that right there. There you go. All right. All oh, praise. Appreciate you. Huh? Got a video. We got a video too. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we even got a music video. Our kind of system. Yeah, this is how they dress every day. But you say grandma dress. We say that looks beautiful what we doing. We are Israel. Matter of fact, get that let, let your light shine before, before all men. Because this right here is beautiful. Imagine you see, we've done this many times where we've gone to cities and now our wives get together and they walk together and everybody stop moving. And they look at them, literally. This is not on exaggeration level. They move out the way and like, who are they? And everybody look and they start to ask them because they're like, I don't even know if I should talk to them or not because they got respect of the people and they didn't open their mouth. But if you're dressed and have naked, what do you hear from men? Hey, ma. Hey, shout out. Let me get your number. Now you're hearing all kinds of people trying to holler at you to get your number because they want to sleep with you, not marry you. What's going on with you, bro? Not much, man. You got it? Read that. Read this. Read this. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. That's a good thing. It said, let your light shine before men that they may see. You can see that dress code. You see what they look like, so it's nothing hidden. When you see them, you know they're different than everybody else. You see us like you saw us, you say, whoa, 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 the Israelites, they different from every other man on the planet. Same thing for our women. Read on. And glorify your Father, which is in heaven. That's how they glorify God, by dressing the way God said. But our women that don't dress the way God said, who are we glorifying? Yourself. Now you've become an idol to yourself because you put yourself above what God said. Hello. The first commandment, don't put no other God before him. You just put yourself above him. You understand that? Y'all understand that? You got any questions, my brother? What's your race, man? My race? Yes, sir. I ain't really sat with the whole, you know, background, but I mean. What would you say it is? If I, I'm asking you, what would you say it is? I would say it's African. Okay, African. What is this race? What is his race? Uh, he don't got a race. Huh? He, like, he doesn't have a you race. You sure? James. You got a race? What's your race? I mean, I don't really like... I mean, I have a race. Okay. Uh, what is your race by God? What did God call you? Like an Israelite. From what tribe? What tribe are you from? Judah. Okay, what tribe are you from? I have no idea. He's a so, you call yourself a so-called African-American, right? Or a black man, right? I mean, if that's what you so-called. If you if you had to circle it on a during job application, what would you say it was? African Americans, what you would. Do. But what, what do the world call you then? Put it that way. What do the people? God, no. What do the people call you, man? What do the people call you? What's your mama put on the person? What's your driver's license say? Yeah. What's your driver's license say your race is? Uh huh. How old are you? You 31, I'm 39. I'm older than the time African American. Okay. But they will call me African American. So what's the man name right there? I'm a, I'm a oh, this guy right here? Who is this? Yeah. Who you think it is? Yeah, who y'all call him? What do you call him? I don't call him nothing. What do the world call him? What do the, okay, well, who is that over there? Okay, what do the world call this guy right here? Huh? Jesus. Jesus, right? You Jesus in Spanish. This brother right here. All right. So what do they call him over there? You know, you know what they call him over there? They call him just a nigga. But who is he to us? But who is that? All oh, praises to the Most High. Who is that to us? Who is that? What's his name? Who is that? Who is that over there to us? What's Sisters? Huh? Jesus. That's Jesus. You know that's what he looked like. What I'm asking. What, what is y'all call? All oh, praises. We're gonna show you. Read the first verse. 
This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Yes. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revealing of Jesus Christ. So we call him what the Bible said, Jesus Christ. So we call him. Now let's read what he looked like, verse 14. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? How long has the letter J been in existence? We know that. What about it? How long has it existed? I don't know. It's in the English vocabulary. You want us to call him? Do you want us to call him Yahweh Shai? You want us to say that? Are you an Englishman? No, I'm an Israelite that's in slavery that speak English as a as my language. So how can a person that exists with the letter J in it? Okay. Do you know who Yahweh Shai is? I know what the name is. Who is that? Same person. So what's the difference? Is that his real name? I'm saying I'm not. I'm not in. I know, but is I'm that not his name? I'm just saying, but like that alone, you said it. it's too many. It's too many discrepancies no within the book that you. No you what's a discrepancy? Give me one. Discrepancy is for one. Do you know who Constantine is? Absolutely. Not in the Bible. Right. <laughs> what did he say? What, what's wrong with Constantine? What's going on? Okay. So what's the issues with the Bible? He's he's one of the forefathers of the creation. Of no, we didn't create the Bible. The Bible was already here. The Bible was already here. It's been here for thousands of years. But people have been here longer than that, right? And get that about the pure language in Zephaniah. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let's read this description first. Then we want the Zephaniah. Read it. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Jesus Christ had white woolly hair and his eyes was red because he drank wine. Read on. And his feet like unto fine bread. And his feet was brown. So that would mean the rest of his body was brown. Just like I could see the top of my sister's feet. They matched the rest of her body. We don't. As if they burned in a furnace. Christ was so dark. They said he looked like he was burned in a furnace. So Christ is a black man. Read. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice was very loud. He did not talk like that white dude they put on TV. Come my sister. That dumb crap. He didn't do that. So. So now, you understand that that's Jesus Christ now. So now you're saying that there's an issue with the Bible. Give me an issue in the Bible. It's a million issues. A million issues. Give me one. One. Is, one. Okay. Incest. Incest. Yeah. Who what do you mean by incest in the who, Bible? Who Adam and Eve? They was not brother and sister. That was his hu that was husband and wife. How many people was on the planet at that time? A whole bunch. A whole bunch, right? Go to uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 20, uh, 26. Let me see. Hold on. You said it was only yeah. just Adam and Eve. We're going to prove that it wasn't. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. This is the beginning. Genesis. D went into Adam's creation in Genesis 2. Read on. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. So the same way he created multiple birds, multiple animals, he created multiple men and women. Right. Just like when, when uh, matter of fact, when Cain was put out of the garden, remember when he killed his brother Abel and he left? How did he go marry a woman if there were no women on earth already? Because it was women there. Because we just read where they came from. So what you think, you know, you don't know. So that, so that discrepancy, so look, so that discrepancy is false. Give me another one. Are y'all confused? Are you confused? Are you confused by what we just read that it was more that it was a bunch of women, women and men? Are you confused? Are you confused by what we just read? So then it was just Cain. So then they had another son named Seth, which is where Noah comes from. Where did Cain have to go? You get that? Let's read that where Cain was kicked out. I think it's uh, Genesis 2. No, Cain. You got it? Four? Genesis 4. And we're going to show you. We're going to show you. 16. Watch this. Watch this. Because Cain was put out, right? Watch this. Read. Genesis chapter 4 verse 16 yeah. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord And dwelt in the land of Nod So Cain went out from the presence of the Lord It says after he killed Abel, God put him out he said get the heck on somewhere, you're going to be a vagabond Read on On the east of Eden On the east of the garden of Eden On the east side, read on And Cain knew his wife Wait a minute But his mama was Eve So who was his wife If there was no one else there who is this wife? You understand now? Read on. And she conceived and bare Enoch. So then him and his wife had a child, Enoch. He didn't have a, a baby with his mama Eve. He had a baby with another woman. Read. Right. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. So then they built up a city. 
and they named it after Enoch. You see what I'm saying? So who did Cain marry if it was just Eve? Who built a city for one family? <laughs> <laughs> so if it was other people, who built a city for one family? <laughs> right. It is a good question. Who builds a city for one family? <laughs> if it was other people, why didn't Adam just walk somewhere and find his wife? Like, why did God have to take because because Adam, that Adam was a special Adam. Hey. He was God's son. Hey. Just like you are God's daughter. Hey. You can't marry everybody. Hey. Watch this. Give me dude running. You can't marry anybody you want. You could marry no white man. You can't marry a Chinese man. You can't marry a, 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 a you a can't marry a, a, a Arab or East Indian. You, you can only marry an Israelite man, according hey. to God, because then if you don't, you're going to mess up your... Matter of fact, we're going to get that in Tobit too. Read hey. this. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. So when we go amongst these other nations and conquer them, don't marry them. We don't. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Uh -huh. For they will turn away thy son from following me. So we can't marry another nation because they're going to make us go into idolatry. Let's go to Tobit 4 and 12. Read this. Tobit chapter 4 verse 12. Beware of all whoredom, my son. So now we're reading about the sin of whoredom. A whoremonger. A person that sleeps around, fornicating all over the place. We're reading about the sin of whoredom. Read. And chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. You can only marry a person of your race. You can't marry no one else. I can't marry a white woman, which I don't want one. I don't want one. My wife is from the tribe of Judah. What's the problem with that? What's, we got the most beautiful women on the planet. Everybody changes their bodies and their face features to look like yours. Why white people get tans? So Who they trying to look like? But we want to look like them and put their hair in our sister's heads. What the heck is wrong with y'all? Lighten the skin. Lighten the skin, bleaching it. What's wrong with our people? They trying to get it, they trying to get tans to look like you, and you flipping and say, no, 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 I'm going to be like you. When God said, you're the best thing on the planet. So, like I said, Cain married a wife. That was, that was not his mother. So where did she come from? Because he said it was just Adam and Eve. You said it was just Adam and Eve. The Bible says different. That's what the world says. Because you also got a, you actually got an idol in your ear. He has... What what is that emblem in your ear? A uh, onk in your ear, right? Now that onk is the, now that onk come from the same tamus of the cross of the Christian church. This is you're kidding, you're kidding, you're kidding. Have you looked up the history of that onk? So now, what is that onk as of today in on this society? Because out of Egypt, it came out of Egypt, right? What land is called Egypt today? No, go give me give me revelations. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let's read the hold them right here, and then we're gonna go to revelations. No, no. Okay, Kemet, Kemet, or the land of Ham or Mizraim. Yes, sir. We understand that. Read. And take not this. I'm gonna finish this, and I'm gonna hear what you say. I'm gonna hear what you say after this verse, right? I didn't want to finish this scripture. And take not a strange woman to wife, which is not of thy father's child, for we are the children of of the prophets. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred. So we only married women that was Israelites. Right. And that's all we can do. So they can only be from the tribe of Judah? No, 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 no. Judah, Benjamin, they can be any of these. But we can't go outside of this. So, like, if I ask you what's your race, you'll be from the tribe of Judah, am I right? So-called African-American, and she says she's from the tribe of Judah. We got sisters in the body from the tribe of Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, all of them on down. Those are the only people we can marry. Those are the only people you can marry. So, that's why God gave Adam a particular wife. Because God, Adam was chosen, his job was to teach the world the rest of God, the God's laws, and everybody had to follow, but he... After following his wife went off into sin, now we die because of her sin. Right. And because he didn't correct her. Right. So now we're going back to that. Because the only way we're going to get back in God's grace is to do what he said. So now I want to hear what you said. Now, my question is, so isn't it like black people cursed in the Bible or something, right? Like, you thinking about Ham. 
saying, yeah, I heard of Ham. Ham is the third son of Noah. He was cursed. Right. But we're not Hamites. We're Shemites. Right. We're I Shemitic. Know, I know the difference. Is what okay. I'm saying, like, now, are we cursed as a people? Absolutely. Did this happen? Absolutely not. No, no, no. Did this That's happen? Wrong. Wait, 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 wait. You say we're not cursed? You say we're not cursed? Did slavery happen to us? It did. Who else did it happen to? Name another race. That, that's, not the, that's not to say that we're cursed. Is slavery a curse? Is it a great evil that was brought up on us? That's what a curse means, a great evil. But, but, that don't, that don't take away the fact of how it happened, what happened. How it happened. Why? Because black people during that time, was they didn't have the advanced technology that white people might have had. In Whoa, you, so we went to slavery because we didn't have technology? If I'm shooting a bow and arrow, you shooting a gun at me, you say we had Right, who said we had bow and arrows? I'm saying, just, you just being logical like I'm, I'm, I'm asking. I'm saying, like, if, if I got a bow and arrow, you got a damn gun. I got a question. When we came over here, right? Okay, so it was people over here in America, they went in slavery, the white man came with a gun. What about what a, what about the Greek captivity? What about the Romans Black captivity? Black people existed in, Greek, in Greece before them. Before they exactly, got there. and in the Greek captivity, right. we didn't call ourselves Greek. Well, in captivity, we was forced to because we couldn't say we were Jews anymore because that's what we called ourselves right, 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 then. Right. So, in that captivity, when they conquered us then and put us in slavery, did they use guns then? Because guns wasn't created then. No. They didn't even use cannons. So what no. made them conquer us then? Since it was about guns in America, what was it, it about that before? It wasn't no curse, though. It wasn't no curse. It like, wasn't? That's like, like cause, because the book itself, You mean Deuteronomy 28, 15? The book itself is a metaphorical book. It's, it's not, a metaphorical book, yeah, it's and it has literal not, history in it, and literal prophecies in it. You know where, how it was created. So how was it created? Who, who, who was King James? King James was yeah. a black man. He had sons, and he actually had he was actually king over Scotland and England at the same time, and he had the Bible translated from Hebrew and Latin into English so we can read it. That's why they wanted to kill him. It's because he was a black man who translated the Bible where they did not have power over the Bible where everyone could read it for themselves. That was what he did. He didn't change what it said. If it said black in Hebrew, it said black in King James. It was not changed. No, this is not altered. It's written in English so you can understand it versus Hebrew. Do you read Hebrew? Just like the book of Judges, because you said when was the J created and all of this stuff. The book of Judges is here. Why no one, whenever they say a J word, jump, no one says yump? We'll say J then, but then when it comes to Jesus, how long has the J been around? Because that's his name. We don't. Let's get let's get the fact we don't get Christ's name right now. Revelation is the 19. There it is. We don't have Christ's name. We only got titles for Christ. We don't have his name. So for anyone that says they got the name right now, it's lying. Watch. Watch. That means they've been taught lies then. Read. Revelation chapter 19 verse 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire. So we're reading about the same Jesus in chapter 1. Mm -hmm. And on his head were many crowns. And that's because he's going to kill every king. Ain't going to be no kings. You don't know one nation that when they ruled, another nation ruled with them. That doesn't happen. So when Christ come back to rule, he's taking everybody's position. That's Everybody right. going to be on the bottom. Really? Right. And he had a name written that no man knew. Wait, but wait, wait. So Christ had a, his name written that no man knew. So how we don't know his name? But he, read on. <laughs> but yeah. he himself. But he himself, so none of us today has his real name. This is after he come back. Right. Then what's going to happen? Read on. And he was clothed with a bastard, dipped in blood. Why is he going to be dipped in blood? Because he's killing a whole lot of people when he come here. Right. Those that want to follow the different religions outside of what he said. Those that want to follow the Egyptian custom when he killed the Egyptians for you. Right. Literally. He killed them for you. Right. What? Hold, read, on, read on. And his name is called the Word of God. But that's what we call him right now. Now, let's go to that. Give me Isaiah 43 and verse 3. I think that's what it is. Where God literally killed the Egyptian, the Ethiopian, and all of them just to free us. Yeah. And now we want to be them. Read on. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 3. I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. 
The only people that got a true God is us. Right. Because if and the all. Egyptians had gods, why they have 360 gods and God embarrassed them all by freeing his people? Hey, he embarrassed hey. them all by freeing his people. Read on. Thy Savior, I gave Egypt for thy ransom. He gave who? Egypt for thy ransom. To give somebody for a ransom meaning you don't pay the price for me to free them. I'm going to kill you to free them. The Egyptians was getting mocked. They got drowned. All of those things because yeah. they had us in captivity. What do you think is going to happen to this white man in this Egypt today? Yeah. Same thing. God going to kill him to free you That's if right. you repent. Right. If you don't repent, oh, you're going to burn right here with him. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.